If you want to upgrade your iPhone's footage from looking extremely choppy and gross to looking buttery smooth and extremely filmic, well stay tuned because I have found the solution for you. Let's get into this video. Let me introduce you to Freewell's Sherpa system with their magnetic filters and their extremely durable case. Now, if you have not heard of Freewell before, they make ND filters, they make systems for your phone. Like let's say right here, I have been using Freewell's ND filters for my FPV drone. They are phenomenal quality. They never break. I've never had a one break on me. I can tell you right now that these filters right here are made very well. Now, just by the looks of it right here, you can see how it is made with glass and metal all the way through. My last ND filter I had from Polar Pro, it was plastic. I wouldn't really mind that, but for something that I am using on the go and that needs to be rugged, it needs to have a good quality. Now, you might be wondering, what is an ND filter? Like, what does ND stand for? Well, that's neutral density. And let me go outside to show you. All right, so now we are outside and I really wanted to show you how this ND actually works and why you should really use one. So I have my handy dandy MacBook right here just so I can look at the screen for this. I am at one over 4,000 shutter speed right now with the ISO at 64, the lowest I can go. And as you can see, I there is just no motion blur towards my hand. Now, as I pick the camera up, now see, as I pick the camera up and I move around, you can actually notice that I, if I pause on a frame right here, you can tell that there's just no motion blur. Every single time I pause a shot, it is going to be really sharp and just, you might see that you want a sharp image, but let me show you why. Okay, so now that I've grabbed my ND filter, I want to show you, I'm going to put this on. Now it's very easy to put on. Now it's going to look very dark, but if I go ahead and shut down the shutter speed to one over 60, which is the correct shutter speed, and I turn back around, it looks perfectly fine, but you also get that motion blur. Now, if I take the camera off the tripod and I move around, you can now see that there is proper motion blur. Now, this is why you should use an ND filter and cinema cameras like the Sony FX6 and FX9 and all of those cameras have internal ND filters. But with these types of phones and with all other cameras, you're going to need an external one. Now, this looks so much better than what I'm showing right now. This is with 4000 right here. Now, this is with one over 60. Now look at the difference side by side. You can tell there is a big, big difference when I move my hand. Oh my God, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> when I move my hand around, it just looks so much better. So now let's talk about the case because this is the first thing that you're gonna be using on your phone every day. The materials of the case aren't, you know, something to be extremely hyped about. It is made out of plastic and rubber, but there is a really strong MagSafe magnet on the back and then another magnet to secure the actual filters. Now, boy, oh boy, these magnets are really strong, stronger than I anticipated. Like you're seeing in a shot right now, it's stronger than the magnets on the phone itself. And on the front of the case, it has a little lip on it. So just in case if you drop your phone on the front, it keeps it somewhat secure at least. And they also make sure to leave space by the USB port. I'll show it on a, some B-roll right now, just so you can attach every size USB cable. So as you can see, ND filters or neutral density filters are a very, very viable option to make your iPhone footage or just regular camera footage from nah, kind of looking amateur to looking very, very cinematic. Now I know these ND filters, especially the one that I got are really expensive. The one I got is $80, but honestly, I would call it an investment. So with all that being said, I can gladly say that Freewell ND filters and their Sherpa system is an A plus in my book. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Comment down below what you guys want to see in the next video. Trust me, I am doing some videos that you guys have requested, like USB type C videos. I'm doing stuff like that. So please, please, please keep an ear out. Hope you guys have a great day. Have a good one.